Grow Generation is a consumer discretionary company that owns and operates retail hydroponic and organic stores. It's the biggest hydroponic equipment supplier in the United States, being currently operational in 36 retail and commercial centers across 11 states after recently entering the state of Arizona. Being a company based around plants, people like to synonymize this as purely a cannabis stock. And if that's you, it could be a good pick and shovel play because they're not directly involved in the final output, they instead provide the goods and services to help reduce that. Grow Generation involved themselves with the distribution and marketing of lighting to humidifiers, fans, trays, water pumps, nutrients, and a bunch of different other items. They also run an e-commerce with an on-call 24-7 access to the team of experts to assist growers. Plus they offer facility designs, cultivation room designs, and on-site project consultation. With similarities to Home Depot, Growth Generation simply wants to be a one-stop shop for your hydroponic needs. This infographic speaks for itself really. They barely acquire any debt, their debt to equity ratio is incredibly low, they're able to cover both their short and long-term liabilities very well, their revenues are good, decent earnings and cash too. So from a financial point of view, I'll say that they're in good shape. In the third quarter this year, Grow Generation grew its revenue by 153% compared to that of last year. Commonly Grow's profit margins fell slightly by 3.4%, attributable to a large percentage of revenue from the expanded commercial and e-commerce business segments. The company's operating costs improved 28% year over year, their net income increased 133% year over year, income from stores increased 156% year over year, online sales increased 112% year over year, I think you get the point. These are big numbers we're looking at here, and Q3 of this year saw the company's 11th consecutive quarter of record revenues. 11. That's just under 3 years of continuously beating previous revenue sums. I could just keep reading out these big big numbers but there's no point so I'm just going to leave a link to their financial report in the description. Next year the company projects it will maintain its momentum with up to $300 million in revenue and up to $36 million in adjusted EBITDA. While it only has 36 stores in 11 states today, Grow Generation has a goal to operate 50 stores in 15 states by the end of next year. Their mission is to own and operate Grow Generation branded stores in all the major states in the US and Canada. With President-elect Joe Biden going into office next year, we could see more and more states decriminalizing recreational and medical cannabis. And with a growing market valued to be worth multiple billions, who knows where this might lead. Hindenburg the short selling company that brought down Nikola also has a report on Grow Generation, saying that they had the brightest management red flags they had ever seen. I'm not going to go too much into it given the whole premise of the 5 minute video, but there are some serious accusations of pump and dump schemes, the giveaway of private information, links to mobs, SEC charges and more. I'll leave a link to the report in the description. They targeted the president, CEOs and others which is still part of the company today, and the timing of their report was very interesting to say the least. It came about when Grow was experiencing triple digit gains. They actually started it off quite humorously by calling Grow Generation a roll up of small mom and pop gardening shops and that they gained temporary benefits from the whole COVID-19 situation, which I thought was quite cheap to say given that quite a few industries have. What was actually interesting is that around the time the article came out, the chief financial officer sold some shares. Now he might be taking profits here, but it could also mean that they know or knew something we don't. More recently, the CEO of Grow also sold some shares, which doesn't always radiate confidence. However, some reputable fund names also have some ownership in the company, which I guess provides some comfort at least. While the information presented in the report is extremely serious, it relied on historical information to build a case against Grow Generation. In other words, there is actually no evidence that any red flags documented in the report pertain specifically to that of Grow Generation as a business. They were more focused on the people managing the company. And this is quite important too. I haven't heard or seen any official news following Hindenburg's report, so I guess that's good signs for Grow. Since the report came out in late August, Grow's stock price has moved up roughly 90%. It's also worth to note that Grow Generation's PE ratio is incredibly high, sitting at around 500 at the time of recording. Now, if you're a value investor, this may be a slightly worrying figure, but if you're a growth investor, then this might be what you're looking for. Furthermore, even though it's not a cannabis stock, it seems investors see it as one. So if that segment of the market plummets, we can also expect this stock price to plummet as well. Given the management risk, I do find the financial numbers enticing. Currently, the ratios illustrate this as an expensive stock. On the other hand, it's looking to grow its revenue by big numbers next year. It was difficult to resist and I couldn't resist. I've bought in with my average price sitting at around $17.5. 
And again, given the risk, I'm not sure it will ever become a larger part of my portfolio until the muddy waters are cleared. At the moment, I think its price is overextended in the short term, so I'm not going to be buying any more shares yet. But I'll definitely be looking to pick up some more during the drop. But yeah, that's it. That's Grow Generation for you. A promising growth company that has some pretty important personal management accusations to look out for. But if you're interested, I would advise you carry out some of your own research. And on that note, I'm going to end the video there. And thanks for watching.